This is ESBR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by promoter Dimitri Sleater here in London for the official Joshua Franklin press conference. Dimitri, appreciate your time today. How are you? I'm great. Very happy to be here. Very excited to be part of this big event and big fight and secure this incredible opportunity for Jermaine Franklin. Yeah, absolutely. We know you were in London recently, not so long ago last year for the Dillian White fight. You a fan of London? You've done much sightseeing whilst you've been here? I love boxing in the UK. Every time I have a fight here, it's a holiday. Most importantly, I'm a fan of boxing. And the boxing fans, the boxing media are very educated here, very passionate. One way or the other, they love their fighters, they love the fights, love the sport of boxing. And um, every time I come out here for big fights, Sweet Caroline is magical. Love boxing here and certainly very happy to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely going to be an amazing atmosphere on April the 1st. Um, on to the fight itself, Dimitri. Um, we know you were unhappy with the decision for the Dillian White fight. Um, do you think Jermaine Franklin, because of what happened um, back, in, back in October, wants to go and win the, win, the, win the fight by KO? He's not going to leave it to the judges this time? I believe that the fact that he got this opportunity shows that he's the unofficial winner of the fight and that there's enough people that feel that he won from the press and from the fans because otherwise this wouldn't be a legitimate contest and there are people significant amount of people that feel that Jermaine has the skills to score an upset besides people in his inner camp but I'm very happy to have had the relationship with Matchroom and with Eddie and to be able to tell the story and push push it for it to, to make it happen I feel that it's a great life-changing opportunity for Jermaine and he has all the tools to be successful. This fight is about trajectory. Anthony Joshua, great athlete, great boxer, one of the greatest heavyweights of this generation, won Olympic gold medal, fought Vladimir Klitschko in one of the greatest heavyweight fights of this generation. And then, if you really know boxing, his follow-up wins with Brazil, with Joseph Parker, they were very good, but there was something missing. It wasn't elite. And obviously, then June 1st, 2019, when he fought Ruiz, and then the rematch. And I f feel like his, his trajectory has gone down. Jermaine won the U.S. National Golden Gloves, beating Cam Awesome, who was a multi-time national champion. Jermaine was only 19 years old, turned professional, beat significant amount of undefeated fighters, gradual climb. Then the fight with Dillian White, being able to perform in front of thousands of fans, away from home is really tremendous and Dylan White is a big puncher, a strong guy, not to get intimidated, not to get, not to get, um, uh, to, to, to go in a box, but to be able to perform and it's something that with all due respect Anthony Joshua was not able to do on June 1st when he fought Andrew Ruiz and that is going to be the key factor in, in, in Germain's key to victory on April 1st. Absolutely. Um, just to touch on Joshua there, I know we. Where do you think he is at mentally at the moment? We saw what happened after the Usyk rematch. Um, had a lot to say in front of in front of the crowd just after losing again. Um, why do you think he's picked Franklin as an opponent here? Do you think he's underestimating Franklin? And where, where, do, where do you think Joshua is at in his head now? Well, I, I don't know where he's at at his head, but I, I can only state my opinion based on what I see. Change in trainers, change in locations, all these things. I mean, consistently, the fact that it's happening fight after fight, I think that Robert Garcia did a fan fantastic job in, in what he did for the second Usyk fight in a relatively short period of time. I didn't think that he would be able to do it. He did fantastic. And Derek James is a great trainer. But Anthony Joshua knows how to fight. He's shown that he knows how to fight. So it's not really about the trainer to me, but it's about Anthony being able to put all the pieces together and find his hunger and his desire again. And that's the trajectory that I'm talking about. Jermaine is still hungry. He wants to get the, the title. He wants to get the new car, the new house, and all the, all the benefits that come with, with being an elite heavyweight. Anthony Joshua has accomplished what few people in the history of the sport have done as an amazing life for himself and is definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame. But is his hunger still there? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that Jermaine's hunger and desire to win is much more is much more passionate and when the going gets tough Jermaine is gonna pick it up and get it going but we'll see on April 1st the, the ring is a true judge and we'll see we'll see how it goes
Absolutely. Dimitri Slutzer, we'll leave things there, but thank you so much for your time.